Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are going to see how you can create different types of fonts in Swift UI app. So here you can see I have used different types of fonts to display my name on this simulator app. So we are going to create something like this in today's video. So let's get started. So like always, we will create a new export project. Select file, new project. Let's name this as custom fonts. Make sure these settings are same and click next. And let's save it on our desktop. Okay, let me just resize the canvas view. Click resume to make sure everything is working fine. Okay, so now we can start. So to use different types of custom fonts, we need to first add fonts to our project. So let's do that. First, I will go to documents here or desktop. I have this folder content where I have saved these fonts. So let's add those fonts in our project. So for that, you just need to drag drop here and make sure this is clicked and copy items if needed is also clicked and click on finish now these are got added in your project and the next thing you want to do is you have to go here on every font open this right panel and make sure this this is clicked for all the fonts so we will just check it once okay so all the fonts are selected here now the next thing you want to do you want to do is you have to go to info playlist and here you need to add the custom font so for that i will say plus here okay it's not working let me just try here okay now here you can say font provided by application you can say and click here and now here i will say i have option to add one more inside this so i will open this here you can see it's item zero so now we can pass our strings here so i will copy all the items and i will add one by one here so let me just count how many fonts we have one two three four five six and seven we have so we can create seven items here four five six and seven and now we just need to copy the name and paste here like this and we have to give the extension same so here we have extension dot ttf now the next font is great wipes regular for this we have extension as dot otf then the next one is lavenderia regular so let's copy that and paste it here if you want to skip this part you can just forward the video next is this let's again copy this then we have night call its extension is dot ttf so make sure you are giving the extension correct then we have roboto thin then we have sacramento regular not ttf okay so now we have added we, this one is extra so let's remove that so we have added fonts to our project and we have also added the fonts inside our this info.plist so now we can use those fonts so first what we will do is we'll just click here resume and we can start writing the code so the first thing we want to do is as you can see here okay let me just close this yeah so we have here different text vertically so we will take vertical stack first that is v stack then inside v stack i want to give first a spacing for v stack so that all the text will be 20 points apart from each other so for that i will give spacing of 20 and then we can start typing our code so first i need to use text so for text i am using here my name which is same for the our youtube channel name then here i am going to give some foreground color 
so let's give first dot orange and then here what we are going to do is we are going to use the custom font so to use the custom font you have option like this dot font and inside this you can create your own font using font dot custom and here you can pass the size and the name so you can say for name i will use the first one which is let's say sacramento and let's copy that name and paste it here here you don't need to give the extension so let's don't write that here and now let's specify the size for our text which is 40 and we don't need this so let's remove that and now let's cl click on resume and let's see what, how we, it is reflecting and you can see this is how it is reflecting now what we will do is we'll change the mode here i want this one in the dark mode so let's change from here and i will change the scheme to dark now you can see we have this two simulators here one is for dark mode and one is for light mode so now let's just copy this fast and let's see how other fonts are looking so we need totally uh, seven so let's do this seven times so this is four five six and seven and now what i want to do is here i will say take the different font so let's say the first one was uh, sacramento next i will take the night call and i will just replace that here you can see it is reflecting also i need to change the color so let's say blue okay then let's take the next one as a regular and for this i will give the color as um, let's say green okay here i have to use the different font as per the video we i am going to use this one instead of night call and let me just write this here okay now it's looking better let's give the other fonts here which is my i have given the lemon here then i have to give this great vibes and for this i will pass the color yellow okay now the next font we are going to use is aurela script and for this i am going to give the color as pink okay it's not actually changing it completely let me just check this part or in a script i can say here sometimes you have to give a little bit different like here i am not using dot i am giving hyphen then it is changing that now the next part is the next font is roboto thin let's use that here and for this i am going to give the color as let's say gray okay and now the last one here what we can give is also one thing we have not done is here you can see we have used numbers so that also we can give so for numbers i'm going to say here for my this name you can see it's looking different for numbers then also i have done a little bit different here i've used the sacramento regular and there i have given different color and there the text is also different so let's do that here and this is at the last okay now you can compare both these those are almost same it's just that we have written this up and down and the color is also little bit different here i have 
given orange and there it is a little bit different you can see also what we have to do is I think we have used all the fonts or I think we have not used one font uh, which is night call so let's use that and I'm going to write that for I guess let me just check here maybe we can give Sacramento we have given twice so let me just that give that here okay now we can compare yeah it's just that we have given this up and down so this is how easy guys it is to use the custom fonts in your swift ui app i hope you have learned something new today and if you have learned something new make sure you hit the like button and if you're not subscribed you can subscribe whether where i paste paste or i post videos daily on swift ui and yeah thank you for watching this video have a great day bye